Hi you guys, this is Sasha and I wanted to come on here real quick because your girl is doing several things this week. One, excuse the mess in the background, maybe you can hear it, I am sick. And so last week my videos got delayed by several days but I told you when I'm back I am committed to being back and there's a lot of content that I still am editing and bringing out. So this week I am going to be bringing you a video today, starting daylight savings time. Um, I wanted to spring forward into action, and so I will have my next pregnancy update today. Then the next one, the second pregnancy update, will be on Tuesday, and then the third one will get you all caught up, and that will be on Friday. And look for two more, yes two more surprise videos within this week. It's just several things that I really wanted to do in my channel. Again, I am aware that some people might like it, some people might not, but um, this is just a fun time for me, and I'm just exploring and seeing all the different things that I really wanted to do within my channel, so I hope you guys enjoy. I do read your comments. I thank you guys for watching. I do watch your videos. Um, I'm struggling to reply because I've been so sick but that's for another video and there's a dog so raggedy but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video say a prayer for me that I feel better and um, we got my editing all set up back here and I'm about to just enjoy this beautiful I weather will go ahead and talk with you guys later on and I hope you enjoy these videos coming out this week bye Hey you guys, this is Sasha and I'm back with another pregnancy update. So, we are talking about like 12 through 15 weeks or really weeks 13, 14, and 15 because I think I talked about week 12 last time. Pregnancy brain is so real. So, as I mentioned in my other videos, I don't do them every week. If you want to see what happened week by week in my last uh, pregnancy, I'll link uh, Josiah's playlist down below as well as my daughter Shalea's um, playlist as well. It occurred later, but again, a playlist is a playlist if you want to see weekly symptoms, and that was a girl and a boy pregnancy, so you can have different perspectives. So, in regards to these past few weeks, um, it was a lot going on. So week 12 and 13, pretty much the rest of the first trimester, I was still super sick, had a lot of nausea and was very uncomfortable. I was drinking nausea tea and um, nausea gummy chewables from CVS that they don't have anymore but my husband's co-workers were so nice you guys that they gave me some of the things that they used um that they, they were sealed by the way but they ended up not using it so that was a huge lifesaver I still use the products now even though the nausea literally tapered off as soon as I got into the second trimester which is yay for a second trimester, you guys, this pregnancy is moving so, so stinking fast. So, um, the first week, awful, and then once I got into the second trimester, it got better. But we also had a doctor's appointment, and in that doctor's appointment, you know, they check your, um, uterus, they check um, your blood pressure, your weight. I haven't gained any weight on the doctor's scale, which is awesome. And that was two weeks ago, but as of now, I've gained uh, 1.6 pounds. So like I said, I was already starting off heavier. I started off at 266, I'm at like 267.6. So it's not like I've gone up a lot, it's just a lot for me because normally my highest pregnancy weight is 275 which it still might be um it's just that this baby I'm not gaining weight with but I still eat um my appetite did come back I don't eat tons tons I feel like I'm hungrier in the morning so a good solid breakfast and a good lunch is good for me and then dinner can be light and it's also earlier I eat dinner between like 5 30 and at the latest the super super latest and I'm talking about a nap and then I'm just waking up because I didn't eat dinner it's like 8 30. I don't like to eat late it doesn't work well with me um this baby doesn't seem to like eating late I get very uncomfortable when I sleep 
and it just is not working out. Um, Y'all, since this is my third pregnancy, I can't really tell you. I mean, I can. I got my handy dandy phone right here to tell you what the baby is the size of. All I know is the baby looks human-esque. So I'm super excited about that. Um, the doctor appointment, everything went well. We were able to find the baby's heartbeat. The baby is sitting super, super low. Um, we did get the results of the genetic testing, but you already know that I want to do like a gender reveal video, so I'll make sure that I do that in the very near and dear future. And with me spreading out the videos, it's actually easier for me to do it because I can literally put these videos uh, every other day and be caught up because I only record every two weeks, sometimes two to three weeks, because like this one was a three week, because a lot going on. Um, so that was super exciting. Um, everything went well. So no weight gain. Baby's heart rate was good. I want to say it was in the 140s. It's not a big deal because then two weeks later, um, this past Wednesday, we had an ultrasound. So let's get into that. So we had an ultrasound and baby is sitting really low down there um i've never had a baby sit that low they normally sit higher but this baby is sitting very very low and um it's cute so we got some ultrasound pics i'll just kind of show you one of my favorite ones all nestled the head is over there and the body's over there did a lot of moving because I drank some cranberry juice just because I was nervous. Uh, Josiah didn't like the ultrasound, so he was normally asleep. And I was like, nope, I don't want to see this thing moving. So uh, I drank some cranberry juice. And the appointment was really nice. It was super relaxing. I almost fell asleep during the appointment. That's how uh, relaxing it was. But the heartbeat of the baby registered at 147, which was super nice. Um, my husband was able to record the heartbeat from the doctor's appointment. I would play it for you guys, but I don't have it on my phone. So maybe I can insert it as a sound clip in the beginning or at the end when you're seeing my belly shot. Um, my belly, I'm not really big. I wear maternity pants just because um, my regular jeans still slid down because it was like an in-between size for me. Um, and when it would slide down, it would make it uncomfortable. Go figure, because my baby is sitting so low. And um, my acne's coming back. I have makeup on, so you can't really tell it. But, I mean, she can right there my acne keeps coming back so it clears up and then it comes back and it clears up and then it comes back it's like a yo-yo effect um josiah is taking well to things and learning how to walk which is a great relief on my back because my hips are starting to do the hurting thing where they spread out um and so that kind of is a little uncomfortable but i try to walk a lot and i drink tons of water y'all like 80 plus ounces every day um and I don't really drink any pop it's water and if it's juice it's diluted with water but it's mostly water I love the little crystal light fruit punch packets and the pink lemonade ones those are delish um I did get the results from my ultrasound that I do have a low line placenta and uh, there's tons of videos on YouTube about it if you ever want to search it which is what I did but pretty much that mean you know as you're pregnant your uter your uterus expands and so right now with as far as it has expanded the placenta is attached lower and the baby's kind of sitting on top of that and they're going to check again in about two months with another ultrasound to see what is happening and just like how a balloon expands and your uterus expands even though it's sitting right there as it expands it might expand where it's sitting up higher and you know it's just something that happens at the beginning of pregnancy however if it still continues to sit low all that it means is there's a high probability that i have to have a c-section which is not a big deal because i have fully planned on doing a um, 
c-section the scheduled c-section that's only because i cannot be induced after having a c-section it's too much of a high risk and i had a c-section with josiah and because shalea was a stillbirth for those of you who might not have known my journey my first daughter or my first child um was a stillbirth and so that was at 39 weeks five days when we found out she passed so they don't feel comfortable with me even going to 39 weeks. So I'm normally induced in the 38th week, but I will have a C-section at the 38th week as well. Um, the only thing that I did learn is that sometimes with the low line placenta, if it continues to stay low, is that sometimes your body goes into labor sooner than you expect. So I've talked to people who have gone like three weeks early, so 37 weeks uh, late, and then a woman had her third pregnancy Pretty much the kind of same situation as me and went into labor five weeks early at 35 weeks so that's kind of like on my brain because i haven't done anything y'all um i bought one purchase that i'll show you here but that's pretty much it and so um i'm just trying to be prepared but i'll wait more into that second ultrasound before i do all this hurrying and trying to get things together because i'm trying to wait for warmer weather to do my redesigning rooms and all the rest of that stuff so that's pretty much what's been going on tiredness is real um but i don't know if it's more so being pregnant and having a one-year-old because he's a handful and we normally have to take naps together so he lays down with me in the bed and that's how he gets his rest and i get mine as well so i'm gonna show you my one baby bye and then my belly bump and then that's it you guys for this video until the next update all right, so the one baby buy that we got was some bibs, and that's because um, Josiah's bibs are nasty. We have to throw a lot of them away, but we wanted like a gender neutral one, and I love this brand. It's a chickpea brand, um, and they're super soft. I love them. I love soft bibs. I do not like hard plastic bibs. They just don't work for me, and my kids hate them too. Um, well, just I am. <laughs> and there were two options. It was the one that I got, and then it was like a black and white one. And I know that black and white can be cute, but I felt like it was really on the masculine side. And so I, I didn't go with it and then I let Josiah pick so I put the two on the cart and he happened to go with this one so I kind of liked the black and white one at first and was going to get that one and then Josiah picked this one probably because the first thing on there which is a cute little bear um let's see if I can try to show you the pattern so like that's the second one just very neutral earthy tones love gray another one and then like this really soft pretty blue so i really loved like i said i love the brand it was five dollars so pretty much a dollar a bib but they are so soft and they're pretty absorbent when we've had them before which is good so spit up and all the rest of that stuff wipe it up and then just put in one of your little dirty bags and call it a day so that's our only baby buy <laughs> um i mean we've got girl stuff we've got boy stuff so there was no need for us to go out and buy stuff um it just seemed wasteless like wasteful not wasteless wasteful so anyway you guys that is it i'm gonna show you guys my belly shot <sighs> just try to make it every day um i try to eat decent i try to walk and i try to live and enjoy every moment of this pregnancy um and get up early because my hips are hurting but that goes with the territory <laughs> and i'm just really enjoying it i feel like my pregnancy glow not just because the you know the lights or the makeup but i feel like my pregnancy is glow is really coming into effect and i my belly really doesn't look pregnant so don't don't judge okay don't judge so anyway i hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day i will see you guys in the next video and until next time bye